Welcome to our Hair and Beauty Level 2 Health and Safety course. This topic is about the occupational health hazard called dermatitis. Introduction Hairdressers and barbers are particularly at high risk when it comes to skin problems. Up to 70% will suffer a form of skin damage at some stage in their career. Bear in mind that skin damage is not only painful, it also looks unsightly, it can ruin a hairdresser's or barber's career. The statistics say that you are very likely to develop some form of dermatitis, so this session covers there. 1. Signs. 2 symptoms and 3 causes of irritant contact dermatitis and allergic contact dermatitis dermatitis an occupational disease that won't go away what is an occupational disease the skin plays a very important role as a barrier to chemicals and other contaminants entering the body but skin disorders may disrupt this protective function Occupational skin disease is a skin disorder wholly, or partially caused by a person's work activity. What causes occupational skin diseases? Occupational skin diseases are caused by direct contact with one or more hazardous substances through 1. Immersion 2. Contact with contaminated tools or surfaces, for example a workbench, tools or clothing. 3. Splashing 4. The substance landing on the skin. Understanding the causes of skin disease. The skin is a complex active organ, if any of its functions fail there can be serious consequences. The skin's ability to act as a barrier is particularly important for occupational health. One way to understand the barrier function of the stratum corneum is to consider it as a brick wall. The corneocytes made of tough protein, form the bricks and between these a double layer of lipids, fatty materials, and water make up the mortar. Some lipids have a hard crystal-like structure and are impermeable to water. Others lipids do not have this structure and they allow water to percolate through. So, the barrier is semi-permeable. Understanding the causes of skin disease. The elasticity Firmness and correct functioning of the stratum corneum depends on its moisture content. Retention of water is aided by substances in the skin called natural moisturizing factors, NMFs. If the moisture content is too high or too low, it can affect the skin's barrier properties. If the skin becomes overhydrated, for example from prolonged contact with water or from wearing gloves that prevent sweat from evaporating, it causes NMF production to stop. If the skin dehydrates, for example in an air-conditioned environment with low humidity, the corneocytes are not shed as normal and the skin becomes rough, thickened and flaky, eventually leading to cracking because of loss of elasticity. Understanding the causes of skin disease The surface film, which is the acid mantle, of the epidermis also acts as a barrier, to prevent bacteria and other contaminants from penetrating the skin. The film is slightly acidic, and can help to neutralize the contaminants that are typically alkaline in nature. Excessive use of harsh alkaline soaps can destroy the acidity of the film and hence the protection it offers. Problems occur when the skin's barrier is breached. This happens when 1. A material slash agent penetrates the barrier layer or alters it so other materials slash agents can penetrate it. 2. A material slash agent enters sweat ducts or hair follicles, bypassing the barrier layer. Understanding the causes of skin disease. How does the skin react to breaches? The skin has a limited range of protective responses. The most common one is inflammation. This is known as dermatitis or eczema. The initial symptoms are 1. Redness and heat from dilation of local blood vessels. 2. Swelling and blistering from plasma leaking from the vessels to the surrounding tissue. 3. Irritation, itching caused by stimulation of nerve fibers. Secondary changes due to infection and scratching include 4. 
crusting. 5. Ulcers. 6. Thickening of the skin. Dermatitis. There are two main types of work-related contact dermatitis, 1. Irritant contact dermatitis, 2. Allergic contact dermatitis. The first type, irritant contact dermatitis, this is where an irritant directly damages cells. If in contact with the skin. If in sufficient concentration or strength. If it is sufficient time. Most irritants cause dermatitis by gradually overwhelming the skin's barrier and repair mechanisms. Mild irritants such as detergents, as found in shampoos and cleaning products, will wash out the stratum corneum lipids, and if exposure exceeds the capacity of the skin to regenerate those lipids, dermatitis will result. In general, irritant contact dermatitis is more common occupationally than allergic contact dermatitis. Dermatitis. The second type is allergic contact dermatitis. Allergic contact dermatitis is caused by contact with a sensitizer, i.e., an allergen, which causes a delayed hypersensitivity reaction. We need to know that a sensitizer is a substance that can induce an overreaction of the body's immune system. Once sensitization has occurred, subsequent contact causes T cells to recognize the sensitizer and multiply. This induces the release of substances such as histamine that bring about inflammation. This second phase can happen hours, or days, following contact hence its name delayed hypersensitivity. 1. Very small quantities of the sensitizer can trigger a response once sensitized. 2. Sensitization is specific to one substance or to a group of substances that are chemically similar. Once sensitized, a person is likely to remain so for life. How to prevent dermatitis. Here's how to wave goodbye to bad hand days. There are five small steps to prevent dermatitis becoming a big problem. Step 1. Wear disposable non-latex gloves when rinsing, shampooing, coloring, bleaching, etc. Step 2. Dry your hands thoroughly with a soft cotton or paper towel. Step 3. Moisturize after washing your hands, as well as at the start and end of each day. It's easy to miss fingertips, finger webs and wrists. Step 4. Change gloves between clients. Make sure you don't contaminate your hands when you take them off. Step 5. Check your skin regularly for early signs of dermatitis. Question, what percentage of hairdressers suffer from skin damage during their career? Question, what is an occupational skin disease? Question, by what methods can skin develop an occupational disease? True or false, when skin is sensitized by a substance it releases antihistamines. True or false, irritant contact dermatitis is more common occupationally than allergic contact dermatitis? Question, what is the most common protective response of skin, as a visual reaction? Question, which of the following is an early sign of skin sensitivity? Question, which of the following is an early sign of skin sensitivity? Summary You have now completed this session on the different types of dermatitis. You will now be able to recognize their 1. Signs 2 Symptoms 3. Causes of Dermatitis. Remember, 
Dermatitis is an occupational disease that won't go away.